Right. Now, many Christians live a life of fear. They, they are always afraid. Meanwhile, the Bible says we should be as bold as a lion. In this sermon by Pastor Chris, he teaches the church how we can overcome fear for us to live a victorious life. This sermon is really one of the best. So without wasting time, let us all listen as he speaks to the church. Never find yourself in discouragement. Amen. Never let it happen to you. Never sit down there sulking what they've done to you, what they said to you, what they did to you. Are you hearing me? Because all of that makes no sense. Amen. He says, go back to that scripture. What's the last scripture we were in? Verse 7, right? Good. Only. Look at it. He says, I'm not asking you for anything. Just this one. Only be thou strong and very courageous that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law which Moses my servant commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right hand or to the left that thou mayest prosper with us wherever thou goest. Hallelujah. My goodness, that's my life. Verse 8. Look at verse 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. Shall not depart out of where? I want you to make sure you see it. This book of the law shall not depart out of where? Now what, I, what I'm sure many of us would have expected to read there is shall not depart out of thine heart. Would have been comfortable. But that's not what he said. He said this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. What does that mean? Keep talking it. Keep saying it. That's what it says. Don't stop talking it. It shall not depart out of your mouth. He's not talking about the heart here. You should already believe it. But believing it will not make it work. You've got to believe it first. And you've got to talk it. And I'll tell you why. We'll get to that shortly. But let's read. He says, But thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do. I wish I wish you'd get the language. Okay. Oh dear Lord Jesus. But thou shalt meditate there and day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein, for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Good success. It's not over yet. Next verse. Have not I commanded thee? Be strong and of a good courage. How many times did he say that? Several times in nine verses. How important this is. Have not I commanded thee? Be strong and of a good courage. Be not afraid. Neither be thou dismayed. You know what that means? You know what it is to be dismayed? There's no discouragement or disappointment with God. Don't be dismayed. Look at that. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. You see, fear may try to attack you. He says, be not afraid. Then he says, neither be thou dismayed. That means, if things don't seem to happen the way you you expect, don't say, 
Oh. Oh. I wish. Oh. Oh. Had it been this other way. Oh. He says, don't. Don't be dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee. Whithersoever thou goest. What am I talking about? I'm showing you the mentality that each one of us must have. The mentality, a way of thinking. A way of thinking. Now, the reason he said all this to Joshua was, he said to him, I want you to bring the children of Israel into their inheritance. I want you to take them into their inheritance. As a man of God, as a woman of God, you've got a definite responsibility. There's something definite about your life. You're not just setting up a church and having a nice family church. Amen. It's not enough. There's a spiritual journey. You're taking them to another level of life. You're bringing them into the knowledge of God. Amen. A God whom they cannot see with their optical eyes, but is more real than everything they see. A God they cannot perceive with their senses, but is more real than everything that appeals to their senses. You know what that means? That's huge. There's a mentality. It's a mentality of a warrior. That a minister of God must have. When Paul was telling us, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. He didn't say we wrestle not at all. He said we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. Against powers. Against the rulers of the darkness of this world. Against spiritual wickedness in high places. Then he says, wherefore I say unto you, put on the whole armor of God. Every one of us is dressed. So don't think that Christianity is, uh, you know, is that life. Everything should just be sweet and calm and, and quiet so that you can just have this nice little church. It's not going to happen. Okay. It's not going to happen. He didn't call us into religion. You're a warrior. Amen. Yeah, you're a warrior. It says, put on the whole armor of God that he may be able to stand against the wires, the stratagems of the devil. That's what he told us. So you can lazy through ministry and think that is ministry. You can't lazy through. You can't lazy through. You know, we're living in a day where people want quick fixes. You know, they want it fast, quick now. You know, drive through. In fact, I understand there are drive through churches now. You know, you just, oh yeah. Wow. Oh yeah, it's real. You know, you drive through and then the guy is there and says, <laughs> and then you take the communion and you're gone. Oh. Drive through. Because people just can't wait. They have no time. So we want it faster and faster and faster and faster. And so we come into the ministry and pastors are also wanting it to be faster. They, they want to know the quickest way to get God to do something. The quickest way to get their prayers answered. The quickest way to make ministry work. The quickest way to grow. Quick fix. It's not going to happen that way. I want you to know. It's not going to happen that way. In God, there is a relationship. Wow. You get it? God is not a computer. So you don't push the button for God to go. Once you do it, you say something. One, two, three. And then God goes. So he responds to you. (laughs) You can push him with technology. No. He is God Almighty. Amen. Are you following this? Yeah. Very important. 
so family this is the end of our video now it is very clear this is how we can overcome the spirit of fear so thank you very much for watching the video to the end i say god bless you and i'll meet you in the next video I'm going in tomorrow bye bye